planetary geologist Ahmed Abba Ghosh joins us live now for more. This is an exciting moment. <laughs> How much of a big deal is this for those of us who aren't experts? Can you break it down into simple terms for us? So it's a huge deal. So let me tell you where it's starting. So, you know, we, are, we, we see these Star Trek and all, all these other movies where we're going to stars, etc. That is not realistic at all. To reach the nearest star, it would take us maybe at least 20 to 30,000 years. So a telescope is all we have to look at the universe. Now, why, why is Webb important? Okay, so um, a, any point on the universe, the further it is, the further is it, it is moving away from us. It's like two points in a balloon, and you're, the balloon is expanding, and the two points are moving away from each other. This is, in, in physics, it's called Hubble's law. So if you extrapolate Hubble's law back in time, there comes a time when the whole universe was very, very small, in a very tiny space. That's called the Big Bang. What this Webb telescope will let us do is to find out what exactly happened after the Big Bang. How did the first galaxies form? And there's a huge amount of galaxies. A trillion galaxies formed in perhaps the first 200 billion years of the universe's life. And the universe's life, what, what is it? It is more than 13.5 billion years. So it will give us a, a peek into the workings of the early universe and then attached to it, comes the question as to how the universe will end. Oh, so that's a big a... question. <laughs> I mean, about, right. uh, how long will it take for us to get this information back to Earth? Well, it will take maybe, you know, maybe a day or two. I mean, it's just a million miles away. It's going to be parked a million miles away. And um, the second reason to, that, that this uh, web is going to be very useful is we find many planets which are Earth-like and this, this telescope will look at the atmospheres of these planets to see whether they can harbor life. What about the, the practical application of this information? The information that we gather, how will it then be used? So you can look at this information. Scientists on Earth will look at this information. We'll look at, there are many, many Earth-like planets across other stars, uh, which we have some information about. But we need, really need a detailed information. So this is um, uh, this telescope will get a peek into stars, which are probably a billion or more times that the human eye can see. So uh, what we see in the universe today, if you go out in the night sky, you will see maybe a thousand stars. But actually, out there, there are a trillion, trillion stars. Or in, the, uh, in other words, the universe has one followed by 24 zero stars. So, uh, so it's very fascinating that you'll have information about all these stars and how they evolved. Um, what did the early universe look like? What were the first stars? How did they look like? And then finally, what are the Earth-like planets out there where life might be there, but we can never travel to these planets because in the end, we are very primitive in our capabilities of space travel. We can, cannot even travel um, at the speed of one light year. And all these objects are billions of light years. Wow, a trillion, trillion stars. I love that. Um, uh, tell me one last question, just briefly. How risky is this launch? It is very risky. One of the things is to, for the um, um, telescope to operate, it has to be in darkness. So it has to have a sunshade kind of thing um, to hide it from the sun and the earth. Um, it, and and so, so that the temperature of the telescope is never above 50 Kelvin or minus... 220 centigrade. And that will be done by five very um, thin um, um, shades, which are smaller than, a, not thick, more thick than the human hair. So you can think of how complex this, this is. So you have to constantly shade it. And so something happens to the shading, the temperature will go up. And then, of course, if it goes up, then it will not function nominally. Oh, so much at stake. Amitabh Ghosh joining us there live. Thank you so much for breaking down this very exciting day for us.